Hey, Chad Carter here with ChadCarter.net, DevGame101. And today I have just a really quick tutorial. I would forgotten actually about Paint 3D. I was really excited about it uh, a few months back when I first saw it. And even talked about some in Lone Hall And uh, yeah, then subsequently forgot about it. So I just wanted to uh, see how easy it was to find something and export it to Unity. Now, I am not an artist. I'm assuming I can come in here and actually probably create something. Um, so, let's see. Obviously, I'm bringing a, th a model, so that's kind of cool. Okay. So, I could bring in a model like that. I could probably make a, you know, you know so actually make a, a block and rotate if I wanted to. Shrink it down more like a, like a table, something of that nature. Right, flip it around. All right, but I don't want to do any of that because I'm not an artist. And while it's pretty neat and I do want to play with it at some point, um, the doodle tool does look kind of neat because you can kind of come down here and you always see the cloud, right? So everybody makes the cloud. And uh, so there you go. But what I'm, what I'm really liking about this is the whole um, mix 3D. And that's this guy right here, the remix. 3D and so we can actually see some things that we could grab let's grab this biker bug yeah let's grab him he looks pretty awesome <laughs> all right so that's that's pretty great so we're gonna use him and I believe all I have to do is come over here and export so we have some options um, GLB or FBX and Unity can handle FBX so let's use that one and we'll just call it what biker bug all right so that's been saved let's go over here to Unity so I just have a new uh, Unity here called paint 3d demo so let's see if we can actually pull in this object so we'll drag in the biker bug, see how that imports. So again, what's neat about this is just be able to find uh, assets in Remix 3D and be able to do some stuff with them. Um, so it, of course, brought in the textures folder here in the materials. So I'm just going to create its own little folder to hold this in. You wouldn't have to do this. It's all personal preference. I'm going to drag the biker bug here into the window. We'll put him at uh, position 000, and that's fine. Uh, negative 103 rotation seems all right. Now, let's see what how this compares to an actual cube. So it's a whole lot bigger than the cube. We'll also put that at 000. And I'm curious as well. Well, first, let's let's actually go to this guy and change his scale factor down to like 0.01. Now that we've applied that, he shrunk down a little bit, but he's still probably too big for what I want because this cube would actually be too big. If I was going to try to deploy this on the hall lens, for example, I typically want my cubes to be 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0.2. And so for the biker bug, let's do that also 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. That seems pretty good. Now, chances are the rotation on this thing is going to be off. So let's, take, let's pay, pay attention to that and see. Uh, so the biker bug here, if I select my rotation, yeah, so see how the cube is at zero 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 and this biker bugs at zero zero zero, but he kinda he's rotating, he's orbiting around because his origin really isn't at the beginning. And you'll run into this a lot when you're exporting things from uh, 3D packages, or at least I have. So all I'm gonna do to fix this is actually select my move tool. Select each one of all the nodes underneath the biker bug and just slide them back.
slide them back to the cube itself. And just so we can actually take a look here. Yeah. So that pretty much keeps them right on center now. So that's something you might have to do depending on the model that you're bringing in and you know where the origin is going to be at. Now something else you might want to actually modify or work with is the shader or how these things look. So we can actually select uh, the different nodes on this particular one. Right. And so like we kind of select the bug himself and in our shader up the smoothness some. Make them really metallic if we wanted to. And on the bike, like that. So, you know, depending on what you're bringing in, you might need to modify the shader and make it look just the way that you want to. And all that can easily be done through the standard shader. Of course, you have your own, then you can do that as well. So let's go and deploy this to the HoloLens. So I'm going to go to hololtoolkit.download. Download the, download the latest Unity package. We'll close that. I'm going to drag in the Unity package. All right, so we'll import the Hollow Toolkit package. All right, so now that the Hollow Toolkit is imported, I'm going to create another folder here. We'll just call it uh, Scenes. And we'll save our current scene into that folder and call it Main. And I'm gonna get rid of my main camera here and grab the Holland's camera from the Hall Toolkit. Now, just so you know, the Hall Toolkit is actually gonna be changing its name to the Mixed Reality Toolkit before too long. So let's see, we also have the Input Manager. And I'll grab the default cursor as well. And that's all I care about. I'm not doing any special mapping uh, this time around. Um, so we'll save that scene, go to the Hall Toolkit, apply project settings, let Unity reload, alright now Unity is reloaded, we're going to go to our build settings. Add our open scene, so let's see, sharp projects, go to player settings, and I really don't need anything, but so I'm still going to select microphone and spatial perception. I hit build, make a new folder, call it UWP, and let it build the Visual Studio solution there. All right, so Unity has generated the Visual Studio solution. I've opened that up. We'll change it from ARM to x86 since the HoloLens is a 32-bit machine. And I'm gonna change it from local machine to device since I have it plugged in through my USB. And we're going to hit build and deploy. All right, so the deploy has completed. So let's see our biker bug on the hall lens. All right, so here you have the biker bug on the hall lens. Started out in Paint 3D, then we export it from Paint 3D and import it into Unity as an FBX file. 
modified the shaders, modified the nodes so we can line it up right. And then brought in the whole Hollow Toolkit so we can easily uh, generate the project we need it to for Visual Studio. We deployed it, built it, and deployed it from Visual Studio onto the HoloLens. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a fantastic week. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.